following me for the past couple of weeks, you know that I started the 100 envelope challenge to save about $5,000. I got a comment from one of you saying that you really didn't understand the challenge. So in this video, I'm going to explain the whole thing. And if you are new here, I'm Jay, your favorite auntie or cousin, depending on how old you are. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell. I make videos about fitness, finance, and a few vlogs. And in some of my finance videos, I've been talking about how I want to save money. And one of the ways I am saving money is I started a 100 envelope challenge. In the video where I explain that I'm doing the challenge, the challenge is pretty simple. You take 100 letter envelopes and you number them. This is just an example. Uh, this is just a notebook piece of paper, but you're gonna take actual letter envelopes. You can get them from the dollar store. They come in either boxes of 50, 100, or 40 and 80. You number them from one to 100. That's what this says. And once you have 100 envelopes numbered from one to 100, you're going to put the corresponding dollar amount in the envelope according to the number that's on the front of the envelope. So if I pull out envelope number one, I'm going to put $1 in the envelope. If I pull out envelope 100, then I'm going to put $100 in the envelope. So I guess the concern is when you should do it, how long it should take you, so on and so forth. The point of this challenge is not to do it in a certain amount of time it can take you a year it can take you two years so don't feel pressure to do this challenge in a hard deadline or by a certain amount of time the key is to finish the challenge your only focus should be to finish the challenge and to put the right amount of money in the in the correct envelopes from one to 100 now there are a few ways that you can put some money aside for your savings in order to complete this challenge. One thing you can do is break down how many envelopes you want to complete in a month or even a week. I get paid every 15th and 30th of the month. You might get paid every Friday. You might get paid on the 1st or 15th. So make sure however you want to save your money corresponds to how often you get paid. Now, again, I get paid on the 15th and the 30th. So what I did was take out $100 from my paychecks in order to fill these envelopes. Again, you might not have $100 to take out of your paycheck, and I totally understand, but whatever money you do have after your bills are paid from your paycheck, then you should start putting them in your savings account. So think about it this way. You have 100 envelopes, okay? If you divide that by two, that's 50 envelopes. There are 52 weeks in a year. So if you fill up two envelopes per week, starting the first week, of January 2022, I can't believe I'm saying 2022, 2022, then by the end of the year, by December 2022, you would have completed the challenge because you would have done 50 weeks um, of savings doing filling two envelopes a week, 50 times two is 100, then you would have completed the challenge. If you decide to do the two envelopes a week, then what you can do is take one envelope from the front of the pile and one envelope from the end of the pile. That way, it's not like such a big to-do to save that much money. For instance, if you take envelope number one and number two, then you're only saving $3. But once you get up to envelope number 99 and 100, that's $199. And that might be a lot at that time. So do something that might get you accustomed to saving a good amount of money, but not a big drastic change from saving $3 versus saving $200. So I would pick envelope number one and I would pick envelope number 100 and I would fill these in one week and then I would put that to the side. And then the next week I would do envelope number two and envelope number 99. Then in the next week, I would do envelope number three and envelope number 98, so on and so forth. So for instance, if you get to envelope 49 and envelope 50, then you're only, then you're saving $99. So I think if you stay around the $100 mark that you save per paycheck, then I think that could be reasonable. For those of you who get paid every week or even bi-weekly like me, you know what bills you got to pay. You know you got to pay rent or your mortgage. You got to pay your car note, car insurance. You got your groceries. You got to pay for all of those utilities. So add up how much those costs are and then total how much money you make in a month. 
subtract your income, subtract your expenses from your income and whatever left over, take half of that and put that into savings, uh, into your 100 envelope savings. So it's really important for you to figure out how much money you make at your job, how much goes towards your expenses and how much you have left over, because that is really going to determine how much you'll be able to save and really how long it's going to take you to complete the challenge. Let's see. The other day I made a video that I got a check and it was $450. So I put $300 away for my car note. I put $50 away to go towards my rent. And then the other $100 I used to fill my envelopes. So when I know how much money I want to put into the envelopes, I go to the bank and I write myself a check for that amount. It could be $100. It can be $176. And then I will just cash that check and the bank will give me that amount of money in singles in order for me to stuff those envelopes. Actually, as the numbers increase to like 30s and 40s, I probably get bigger bills like fives and tens. But for right now, I'm just doing the I'm still in the no, I'm at I'm at envelope number 15. So probably when I get to 20, I'll do some 20s and then some singles and then some fives instead of having all of those singles stuffed in the envelopes. Can you imagine getting to envelope number 100? You have 100 dollar bills and that is a lot of dollar dollar bills. So uh, let's see what else. Oh, another thing you can do is dedicate your your side hustle money to your savings challenge. Now, not everyone has a side hustle and I'm not saying that everyone should have a side hustle, but if you really want to save some money and you know that you're living paycheck to paycheck, to paycheck and everything that you work for has to go towards your bills, then I think it's a great opportunity or a great time to get a side hustle. My side hustles are DoorDash, Postmates, uh, Instacart. I've done Airbnb before. I do work on Fiverr or Upwork because I have all these certifications and Facebook trainings and things like that. I can edit video. So I can pick up a few side jobs on those platforms and all of that money I make, I can put in to my savings challenge so that I don't have to touch the money I make at my regular job. Consider getting yourself a side hustle and making some extra money so that you can put that extra money into your savings challenge. In addition to me doing the 100 envelope savings challenge, I am saving for a few other things. I want to have $1,000 in my emergency fund. I want to have $1,000 in my car fund. I want to have my 401k maxed out. So I'm trying to save $5,000. And then I want to have six months of runway saved up, which is about $12,000. It sounds like a lot, but it is very doable. Again, I have all of these side hustles. I am just trying to do them as much as possible so that I can complete these challenges. And the good thing about these challenges is once it's complete, then it's done. Like once I have $1,000 in my emergency fund, I'm done. I don't need to make another emergency fund and start that savings challenge. Nope, I have $1,000 in my emergency fund. It sit there, it's, it's sat there, it's done. I have my car fund, done. I have my runway, done. I have my 401k, done. But then I'll have to do my 401k again next year. But yeah, most of my savings funds, once they're complete, then I don't have to do them again. So that is the benefit of starting a challenge and completing a challenge because then it's done. And then that money is just set aside and you only use it in case of emergencies. See how that works? So I hope that is... I hope that I made that clear to you guys how to do the 100 envelope savings challenge. Again, you're going to number your envelopes between 1 to 100. You're going to put the corresponding dollar amount to match the number on the front of the envelope. You're going to pull money, take money from your, your paycheck every week. Let's do this. This is the plan. 10%. Let's start there. 10% of your paycheck goes towards your savings challenge. So if you make $900 a week, then $90 needs to go towards your 100 envelopes. Um, if you make $400 a week, then $40 needs to go towards your, that is, now see, that's reasonable. That's the plan. Forget everything else I said in this video. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to save 10% of every weekly paycheck to go towards our savings challenge. We're going to save 20% of our bi-weekly paychecks, okay? So if you get paid every other Friday, every other Thursday, the 1st or 15th, 1st and 15th, or the 15th and the 30th, then you are going to save 20% of your paycheck. 
Oh, we just figured it out. Look at that teamwork. Look at what we did. Look at what we did. Look what we got. Good job, guys. See, this is teamwork. I'm in it. You in it. We are in this together. It's not just me saving money. It's me helping you save money so we can save money. That's the whole plan. That's the whole purpose, you guys. So, um, yeah, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys have already started the 100 Envelope Challenge. But if you haven't, I hope this video has explained how to start it, what's the purpose, how to make money. And I hope this video encourages you to start your challenge now. Follow me everywhere on all of my social media platforms. Charlie! At JSO Extra, make sure you like this video if you enjoy this kind of content. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then leave me a comment to let me know if you've started your challenge, how much you've saved thus far, or if you plan on starting the challenge soon. Okay? All right, that's all I have. Okay, bye. Love you, mean it. Bye.